All right, what's going on everybody? My name is Junior and today we have a few things to go over in regarding our digital world. Uh, this is a daily digital of course and I am here just to share with you about all this new technology that's been going on. Today's date is Monday, August the 8th and uh, the first thing we have on the block here is about a woman who is actually blind and is creating her own NFT. That's, <laughs> that's amazing in my book. Um, the next thing that we have here is uh, an AR, I think it was AR, either AR or VR. I was kind of getting mixed, not, not mixed up, but um, I always forget sometimes when I'm creating this show, uh, some of the stuff that I've been doing research on, because it's a whole lot. Um, but it's called Jig Space. I do not know that for sure. I just can't remember if they're doing AR or VR. We'll check on that in a minute. Um, after that, we're going to jump into what a lot what I like to call, if you saw the show last week, um, is the Merchandise Mondays. And it's really just a product, tech product, digital product, what have you, um, that I found very interesting and didn't know existed. So I want to share with you all as well. The next thing after that is going to be all about coding and how one company out in Kansas City is actually trying to take that a step further, teaching these children how to code, which is amazing because next generation will definitely need to know a whole lot about tech when it comes to um, basically anything. And then the last one is a website that you can use if you're looking to get into the tech space and get a job. They actually have like curated, you know, coding interviews stuff in, on there as well. Um, so yeah, that, with that being said, we will take a quick break here and then we will jump right into it. All right, welcome back everybody. So the first thing off the block that we have here uh, is, this is the first blind fashion designer who is creating her own wedding dress NFT. Uh, I believe this article came from Black Girl Nerds. Uh, we actually did last week, we did an article on Snoop Dogg from Black Girl Nerds. I like their website. Um, so first off, I mean, take a look at this, this dress guys. I don't know for sure if this dress is the dress that she created that was an NFT. This article came out July 12th. So roughly about a month ago. Um, I don't know if this dress is the actual one because when I read through this article, so first of all, so she's blind. She got blinded when she turned 18, I want to say. When she was 11, she was diagnosed with cataracts. Um, and then what she ended up doing was she really, really, really loved fashion. But she, I guess, you know, never got a chance to really get into fashion. Fast moving forward, she got into LinkedIn, utilized LinkedIn to make a whole bunch of connections, network the heck out of her uh, experience and stuff like that. Until one day, some guy actually came up to her, well, DM'd her on LinkedIn or whatever and said, hey, I see that you're, you know, doing fashion and stuff like that. Can we turn this into an NFT? Uh, she said, yeah, I don't know what an NFT is, but hey, <laughs> let's, let's kind of just go for it. Um, and so from there, they actually... From there, they actually turned into an NFT and I... I'm trying to get the thing here. Uh, let's see. So I moved to the East Coast in early 2020 because I was thinking of going to the Fashion Institute of Technology and doing the fabric styling certificate. I've always had a passion for fashion um, and it seemed like a means to educate others. People would come to my closet and ask what they should wear. I've got something here. I thought, how can I contact fashion designers? The way uh, that simply was by contacting people on LinkedIn. People were willing to talk to us because they were also sitting at home. Because uh, again, 2020 was a pandemic. We did two seasons of it fashionably late and we're super proud of what we did. Now we're on a hiatus um, because of the podcast. Okay, so she had a podcast. Um, yeah, we were able to spread the word about what it means to be accessible within the fashion industry, how to ensure website accessibility for brands and how to make products more accessible to the people. Just all these cool tricks and things to make your brand more inclusive. This got the attention of Ernest Spicer, 
a digital artist in the NFT space. He asked if we could create an NFT and uh, he's, I wasn't sure what it was. Uh, for me, I have been to many weddings. Da, 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 da. Uh, therefore, I decided to make the NFT wedding dress to raise awareness that we went, want to be involved too. Um, because there were no disabled people in disabled promotions or prints. That's pretty amazing. I mean, she realized a lack of disabled people um, being portrayed as brides, bridesmaids, flower girls, or grooms and stuff like that. That's like <laughs> blind people get married too, of course. So why wouldn't they be in those publications? I never even thought about that. That's that's interesting and pretty cool. It's, um, but yeah, so uh, therefore I decided to make the NFT wedding dress to raise awareness uh, that we want to be involved too. Ernest really liked the idea. Kathy Hackle, who is the mother god of the meta universe, her avatar wore the dress in the first week of Meta Fashion. Now we are working on getting sponsorship to make the physical version of the dress. I, again, I don't think the, vis, the physical version of the dress has been made yet. This image here may or may not be it. This may be like an AR. You know what? I think this is AR. Because I can kind of see behind here a purple hue. And it looks like her pants behind her might be purple or... And I think up here, this is purple behind it as well. I think this is, I think this is the dress. I think this is the dress, but it's a AR version of it that is placed on her body. Um, so I don't think it's been made yet, but it looks like they are looking to actually make it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you guys let me know what you think about that. Um, I think it's actually really amazing that she is trying to take it a step further. You know, a lot of people kind of let their disability get the best of them, unfortunately. And they kind of feel like, okay, my world is over. My life is over. Once she kind of got blinded and she still wanted to kind of get into fashion, created that podcast, was trying to start into fashion, reached out to a whole bunch of people on LinkedIn, you know, got a whole bunch of responses, um, ran into that guy. I think it was Ernest Spicer. Um, Kathy Hackle, all of those different connections actually explode into what she's actually doing now, uh, being the first black, I guess, blind woman to actually create a wedding dress NFT. And I don't think through all my research, I don't think I've actually seen any NFTs wedding dresses. So, I mean, let's think about this for a second. NFT is like, you know, ownership, digital ownership kind of thing. So imagine creating a dress design or something like that and then only selling that design to you know whoever through an nft so now that person has all the rights to that design and to get that one design created because uh, i know a lot of women out there they you know don't want to buy off the shelf dresses because another woman might have it uh, so now you don't have to like create a dress and just leave it on the shelf for somebody to come see it you can just create the nft for the dress and then once the person buys it, when they're ready to get married, then from there, they can actually go ahead and, um, heck, they can even make, because these wedding dresses are expensive. They can actually make payments through the NFT until their wedding date or whatever. They might even be married. They might even be dating anybody, but they want to start get it in early so they can start making payments on it, yada, yada, yada. And then if they, in case they, you know, don't actually get married, hey, you can always resell the NFT. It's not like a dress that you've worn before that nobody else is going to wear. It's a dress design that has never been created before. You sell that NFT to it, so now somebody else has the ownership. I mean, it can it can spiral. All right, and so for the next thing off the block here, we have a company called Jig Space. And Jig Space is a 3D knowledge sharing platform, and it's the easiest way to visualize your ideas, products, and processes in 3D. Uh, so I'm gonna just play this quick video here so you can kind of see what it's about. Oh, uh, it looks like this night may not be a video. It looks like this is a, actually a 3D. I didn't click on this before. I have a video on YouTube for you guys to check out, but I just clicked on this and I want to see what this is because I didn't click on this before. I thought it was just an image at first, but then I saw that little play button. So we'll see. Okay. So the invention of the jet engine has empowered mankind to fly around the world in a single bound. Let's have a look at how they work. Okay. So yes, AR. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see all this. So it's more like an educational platform, it looks like. You see that. 
boom you click on that it removes a portion of it they have the intake fan they have that compressor a fuel injector LP turbine high pressure turbine a low pressure turbine high pressure turbine um, The low pressure turbines power the intake fan after passing through the turbines, the hot gases. So I say as it's really more about education and seeing how all of this stuff works. Um, yeah, viewing it. So you can actually view it in AR. So this would actually mean if I have my cell phone, I could actually see this actual engine in real time in my like house, you know. Um, okay, so let me okay, I can get off of that. Uh, find out how we're the highest rated AR app in the App Store. Jigspace official partner of the Romeo F. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. What is Jigspace empowering collaboration and product education throughout your organization and beyond? Jigspace is the 3D knowledge sharing platform that transformed the way you work. Product teams can craft compelling stories and interactive demonstrations that make technical uh, information easy to understand. These demonstrations can be viewed in a real world setting using augmented reality, no CAD software, no coding, and no worries. Uh, so that's pretty nice. I like that. Uh, anyone, anywhere, no coding required. So you can continue learning. Um, easily create a jig in under five minutes. Even though I don't think it's going to be that easy. I'll, I always wonder about like when, when people do that. That's really more like clickbait, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, so I have this um, YouTube video here as well. Uh, that I'm going to click on that you can guys can kind of watch. So if you want to learn about, let's say, Inside Planet Earth, you click on Go. Now it's on AR. They have the actual Planet Earth that a playground looks like. It's a new way to learn. You can learn about the inner core, outer core. They use augmented reality. Um, they teach you about the world. Looks like they teach you about a toaster now. Oh, that's pretty cool. Handyman. They teach you how to put it together a sink. I, I, that's I like definitely for real estate I think that was the only thing I excited I want to actually like <laughs> go back to that but we'll continue forward here um, cool so yeah that right there was jig space uh, let me know what you guys think about that again they're more of an educational platform um, that is using AR technology to help people learn, especially people like me who's more like visual learners and stuff like that. Um, so for the next thing that we have today, today's Monday, we've got Merchandise Mondays, really just a tech product, uh, or not just tech product, but tech product, digital product, any product that I feel um, is inspired by, you know, our digital technology world and stuff like that. Uh, and for the one that we have here today <laughs> is a way to wash yourself like without having to even like use not let me not see let me just show you the video because it's kind of interesting all right so this guy here and it's a 30 second video so i'm gonna just talk real quick this guy here he has this device with a shower head attached to it the shower head as you can see here is currently spraying out water and then it starts to foam so now it's spraying out foam so now when this person puts their hand underneath it as you can see, it starts not washing their body, but it puts soap and water on the body in the form of foam. So essentially, imagine jumping in the shower, you wet your body real quick, you hit a switch, the shower head starts to foam, and then I'm assuming you would still have to scrub. I, I myself scrub, <laughs> so that would be definitely a thing there. But as you can see, I have another switch button, and now it turns back into water, and you can just rinse. So yeah, I am kind of curious how that all works. Uh, I'm assuming it's kind of like, cause there's some car, um, 
car washes that actually do that. I don't even know if they use the same nozzle and everything for it. Um, you know, they have different hand soap dispensers that can take the liquid, you know, soap inside of it. When it dispenses out, it turns into foam. So the technology is there. I just never seen it in the form of a shower head, which is actually pretty cool. But I myself uh, would still be scrubbing <laughs> with a uh, rag washcloth. Uh, sponge, loofah, whatever you guys want to use, that uh, that to me is still important. All right, and so the next thing that we have here, We Code KC. We Code KC .org is a company out in Kansas City who is exposing the youth to various programming languages, technology, cybersecurity, and computer science concepts. Our mission is to give youth the opportunity to learn technology concepts and leadership skills creating a pipeline of future ready professionals through project-based learning and innovative programs. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this in my opinion is amazing. These children coming up nowadays definitely need to get in tune with coding. Um, they've got HTML and CSS. They've got JavaScript. They've got Python. They've got the app inventor. I mean, I wish there was stuff like this around when I was younger did take a quick little coding class in high school, but nothing really geared to push me that direction. I would have definitely went into software engineering instead of mechanical. Um, but their mission is to give youth the opportunity to learn technology concepts and leadership skills. Uh, they have a bunch of different partners out here. Microsoft. I, I'm not sure if they part. I guess they're partners. They would have put them on their website. If not, uh, Microsoft NFL, I believe the Kansas city chiefs and stuff. And, um, and yeah, if you guys are in Kansas City, I'm not sure if they are only in person or if they do anything virtual. Okay, yeah. Every child, no matter their zip code or their family's financial status, should have the opportunity to learn to code. So they might be online. They might be online. So all those people out there with children, definitely check out We Code KC to see what different types of uh, opportunities that they have for your child to uh, start getting into tech. And then, you know, never you never know, might get a career in tech um, because they, well, right now, especially with blockchain, if your child learns blockchain technology right now, like Solidity and how to create smart contracts, I don't care if your child is like five years old. If they learn that, they have a job because there's a lot of people that are looking for developers that can code in like, you know, um, in uh, solidity and stuff. So definitely take a look into this here. Uh, and then the next thing, once your child goes to learn how to code again, they're probably five years old, genius or whatever, but they lack the communication skill, they lack interview skills. So you can come over here to Leap Code. Leap Code is a platform in which um, you can, uh, is the best platform to help you enhance your skills, expand your knowledge, and prepare for technical interviews. So it's not just for interviews. It's also for more learning. There's like um, projects and stuff that you can do. Um, I'm going to just kind of scroll down here a little bit. Um, 14 popular coding languages. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to just go ahead and click on get started. I want you guys to see, you know, what are the couple of things that they have to offer. Um, okay. Yeah. So there's skill there, top interview questions, dynamic programming, uh, Google interviews. So you can kind of go through that graphing heaps, recursion, machine learning one uh, Yeah. So they have different interview sessions here. Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, Adobe, Bloomberg, Uber. Um, you can learn. Let's go to more on learn. I just want to see what all um, different like programming language that they offer and stuff. Binary, okay. Q and stack, array and strings. Okay. Um, so yeah, so this is Leap Code. Again, if you are already know a whole bunch about coding, you're looking to get a job, I would definitely recommend coming out here for definitely um, interview question types. And so you can kind of get yourself familiar with that. Um, 
And then if you want to kind of get more into it, learn more about it, you can definitely check this website out as well, Leap Code. I have not used them myself. Um, I personally am not looking for a job at the moment. I'm actually looking, I'm looking into a job, um, but it's with a DAO, so there's that. Um, but yeah, so definitely guys, let me know what you think about this, all of this in the comments of this video. The links to everything is inside the description for all of the different articles, all the different stories. Definitely let me know um, your thoughts on social media as well. Tap in with me all the time. I'm on pretty much every social media um, platform there is out there. And without further ado, I think that is all it. I appreciate you guys' time as always, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.